Okay, aim left. A little bit more to the left. Aim higher. Okay, a little higher. Hey guys, it's me, Tolly December, and welcome to today's video. Welcome back to The Walking Dead. We are still on episode three. I had to end last filming session a little bit early due to the episode's events. Uh, I was just a little bit emotional <laughs> over that, and I still like coming into the game after that. It's just like, <sighs> but I've taken a break and I'm ready to come back. You know, it's like really weird. Can I go inside? Can I, does Lee move or do I? Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so the man told us to find a map, but yeah, it's just like so weird. Because when you cry and you're being dramatic and you're looking in the mirror, you kind of see what you look like, but you don't really know what you look like the whole time you're crying. So editing that was definitely what if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just horrible. leave me alone? Okay, we'll get a map later. You take your time. I'm gonna go talk to Clem. The guy was like, cut her hair, teach her how to use a gun, so that's what I'm about to do. He told me to do something else. Oh, okay. Ben is going through it. Let's go talk to Ben. Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Is that what you say? Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. You gonna be able to step up? Are you gonna be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Period. Good. I hope that's true. <sighs> Should I say Carly didn't have to die? Will he confess? I feel bad like over and over again just being like, did you do it? Did you do it? Oh, jeez. We're gonna keep going. Oh, blood stain. Yeah. I didn't even realize how group how small the group was. Lily ditched us. Katja and Duck had a bit of an incident and now it's only the four of us. Okay. Let's talk to Clem. Actually, let's look and see what's in here. Scissors. All right, so we about to cut some hair. Hey, Clem. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh, he explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I like that. Good. What a crappy day. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three <laughs> months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. You need to learn how to protect yourself. Can we scissor your hair first? No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll do it later. We'll do it later. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. <laughs> Aww. With one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Uh, take a breath, hold it, and fire? When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. A 
found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Can any gun owners confirm? I don't know if any of you guys own guns. Are you supposed to hold your breath? Good. Don't lock your elbows. Did I give bad advice? Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. No. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Oh, man. She's so tiny. Oh, keep it steady. Uh, keep it steady. Close. Now keep it steady. How do I... Oh, no. How do I know? Okay, I'm going to go aim higher. It's a little bit up. Okay, a little higher. Shoot. Okay, now we're going to do aim lower. Aim lower. Woo! I got it. Excellent. Good shot. I feel like we're wasting bullets a little bit. I mean, not like it's necessary to learn. I hope we have more bullets on us, though, so we can use them. Okay. Aim to the left. Okay. Aim a little bit more to the left. Aim. Aim lower. Aim lower? Aim higher? A little bit lower. Shoot! Okay, aim left. A little bit more to the left. Aim higher. Okay, a little higher. I don't know what to do. Okay, so she hit the left high corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to have her aim right. A bit to the right. And then we're going to have her aim lower. Aim lower. Woo! There you go. Nice. Lee, I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. Okay. <gasps> oh! I did it. Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. Oh, great See, advice. You did good. Go me. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. -uh. You're probably not going to like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about All your right. hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. <laughs> what? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. <laughs> Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's cut hair. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. <laughs> okay, Barber Lee to the rescue. Cutting hair can't be do that you know hard. How to do this? Uh. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. <laughs> Me neither. Well, good. Good? Means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another <laughs> valuable survival skill. <laughs> so you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. That's not true. Don't go in there thinking that. No, it's different. It's different. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. True. I was sent to jail. Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here. I have some hair thingies. You do? Yeah, Lily gave them to me for sleeping. I love her haircut. Yeah, all set. It's so cute. <gasps> the little pigtails. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. 
and a lot harder to grab. Aww. Okay, let's go back in here and see if Kenny will finally, you know, let's talk to him. Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. You still want to get a boat? You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Here. Yeah. It's the best plan. Okay. Hey. Yeah. You got any maps? Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. You have one right next to you, Kenny. Can I please have it? I'm so sorry. You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Okay. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be before too long. Uh, you're homeless then. You're homeless then. Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Hmm. Be safe up here. You betcha. I saw a drink in the car with Clem where we learned how to shoot things, so maybe I can get him a drink? This'll work, right? It's weird because he's like, I want a drink. Doesn't he live- this is all of his stuff. Isn't this his? <laughs> Wouldn't he know? It's a fifth of whiskey. All right, we're gonna get this back to Chuck. Here's the whiskey. I this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? No, I'm okay. No, I'm fine. Suit yourself. I want to stay alert. Hmm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Hmm. Maybe I can tell Kenny to go have a drink with him so I can get the map. I just want the map. Babe, I just want the map. I really do. Oh, Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. Okay, now we can get the map. It was me. Huh? No! I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. Jesus, Ben! Uh, okay, why would you what do for? that? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me, kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. Oh my god. It's weird, I, I forget, like, major plot points like this. I was like, mm, he seems kind of suspicious. But I was like, he probably wasn't the one that did it. I was just being, I was just being mean. But no, he did do it. And now Carly's dead. But I, I don't know, I can't kick him off the train. Oh my god, everything is a mess. Okay, let's show Clementine how to use a map. Hey, Clem. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. 
Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We need to help find a boat. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Where would we even look? Where would we even look? I can remember where they were staying. Maybe they didn't go far. Clementine. Please, Lee. All right. Let's figure it out on the map, but a boat is the ultimate plan. Yes. They can come with us, right? Yes. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna want to look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the Savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. <laughs> Can I tell my parents? You know... Sure, go ahead. Sure, go ahead. Alright. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little shot. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh shit! Hold on everybody! What? So bad. That's fucking stupid, Ben. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Oh, no, we're friendly. No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. <laughs> we know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. All right. Ah, new people. Thank God, because our group was starting to... Up to that wreck tanker. Our group is starting to fall apart out here. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. That's not reassuring. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Hey, hey. Omid. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Mm. It's been a bad day. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. <laughs> Our group is a little fucked right now. They had a bite victim, then his mom took her life and... Before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! Oh! Hey, Clint! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? <laughs> Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. 
He down there? It's that obvious? To me. <laughs> and no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? Uh... I found her. I was on my way to j I came across Clementine. Why am I oversharing? The first day all of this happened, I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? <laughs> I uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Yeah. Uh, Kenny lost his wife and kid? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. Oh my god, oh, damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. See if we can knock this down? Oh, girl. I feel like that's pretty dangerous, especially because... Mm, I don't know. Let's see. We got anything over here? Okay. Let's look at the generator. It's empty. Look at... FRS truck? The first truck? Please don't be dead. Look at cage. Okay, we're gonna search the truck. Is that tape? That's about the only useful thing in here. Okay. Empty. That's what I figured. Okay, cool and dope. Now how do we... There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Okay, let's head down. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? <laughs> like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We're gonna cut that we tanker down. help you guys, though. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, <laughs> but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Okay. Survivors inside. I'm assuming they're not very alive now. So there's nothing much out front here. We're gonna head down these stairs and head to the next building. Can we do that? Hey, Clem! Oh, she's running! You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Okay, shove door. <clears throat> that won't budge. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to shove Clementine up in here. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Sure. All right, Clementine, we're boosting you in there. my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Oh my god, don't drop her. I mean, he, I know he's not going to. Can you see anything? Okay. I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For what? You? I think so. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. 
Okay, well, let's go inside. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. I, uh, I love them so much. Oh, this is creepy. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Why are you timing me? Prop door with monkey wrench? Yes? Does that really work? All right. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Okay, so we're gonna look in here. Locked up good. Oh, we need a key. Is there anything? What is that? Blowtorch? That's exactly what we need. Oh, okay. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Okay, key. Would they keep it in a can? What would we... Look at Gap. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Okay. Okay. I I'm worried about sending her into, like, this locked space. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. What's wrong? Behind you! Oh god, no! Sh I don't wanna- Oh, no, 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 no! What- What do I do? Do I get the- Oh, press W to back- Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it this time. Get the wrench. Knock. Oh! Oh god. Are we good? How'd they even get in here? <gasps> oh! It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. What the? Why? Why? Keys, now! God! Give me the- uh, give me the- uh, I'm stressed! I can't! <sighs> God damn. That didn't go so good. No, no. It did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. You did. found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? We handled it. We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? But we did. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. Oh. I feel bad. I understand. I understand everyone's concern, especially with a child. I feel bad because I'm, I'm sure that Lee's probably always questioning, am I doing the right thing? Is, am I raising her correctly? That kind of thing. So... Yeah. Are there other things? Okay, so we can't go that way. Because there's a dead guy. They didn't have much business back then. Okay, so we'll take this. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned everything is dangerous. No, Clem. We learned that everything we will ever do is dangerous. We'll get better, smarter, and faster, okay? 
Okay. Is there anything this way? No? Okay, let's go. Where's the... I could have sworn I was holding a tank. Are we... Are we good to go? Where's the tank? Where's the... Where's the blowtorch? Is this like another glitch? I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Okay. Let's go this way. Hmm. I actually feel like I want a chance to get to know Krista a little bit. Oh, there's Ben! Hanging out! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Let's see what else we can interact with before I go up there. Can I go... I'm glad someone's managed to keep this spirit. Sounds very lovely. There's Ben. Got a clear view up there? Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. We need someone, anyone, to come along and, and exterminate them or something. Uh, get used to them, it's easier. Get used to them. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. Well, their numbers keep going up. And ours. I'm telling you, Lee. If they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Punch your own ticket? Yeah. Take myself out. Don't be dramatic. Oh, come on, Lee. And don't let them get a hold of you. Exactly. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Careful, she's a crack shot now. Ooh, is that gonna be bad? Because she already thinks I'm a bad dad. Is it gonna be bad if I'm like, yeah, I taught her how to shoot. I don't care, she's a crack shot. She's, I'm proud of her. Careful, she's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? Yes. Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Where, Where are, are you from? from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long That's way far. From home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? <laughs> Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. Okay, now we gotta find Omid. Is this what we need? Blowtorch. Okay, nobody go down there. Is this- I don't think this is Shit. safe. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so we just gotta- leak with something. And that's where we got the tape from. Hope this holds. Okay. Now let's use the blowtorch. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Oh my god. Oh, thanks. Thank no you, Omid. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. So what do I do? Blowtorch again? You can't reach it now. Hmm. Give blowtorch to Omid? Here. The weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! Oh my god, oh, please don't kill me! Shut up and start cutting. No, no, that's not good. That's not a good sound. Holy crap! Holy crap! 
Hey Ben, you wanna give us a little shout? Just so we know that. Guys, there's something coming. What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go. Fuck. Omi, cut, cut. I am. Oh my God, please don't kill Omid. The ladder! Kimmy, go! Oh, we're gonna have to jump on top. Shit! What the hell do we do now? Crap! What do we do? What do? What do we do? Smash to hell! Whoa! Shit. What do we do? We gotta jump! What? No way! Come on, Omid. We either live or die. Please don't die. Uh. Jump! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Ugh. Come on, Omid! Ah. No! Holy crap! No, 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 no! Oh my god, no! We just met you! We were getting along! Thick as thieves, they Fine. said. God, no! <gasps> no, no! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, my God, I should have saved him first because she could have saved herself. <sighs> that was a lot of them. Are you hurt? No, we're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Oh my god. You think there'd be a warning or something? They all just came out at one time. Oh my god. Next stop. So pretty. Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. I don't know how they're gonna live on a boat for that long. <sighs> You'll be alright. You'll be alright. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. Hello? What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Well, it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. He sounds like a creep. He sounds so creepy, too. At least it's pretty out. Oh my god. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? We need to focus on finding the boat right now, Claire. Like we talked about on the train. 
I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? If you come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! All right, that episode was a whole doozy. It's weird because it had like, despite everything going to garbage and it feeling like pretty crap, I guess, they, it still had this weird sense of like hope. Oh God, the guy on the, I just, that guy didn't sound right over the, over the walkie talkie. Like he sounds like he, um, has not good intentions. I'm very scared. All right. Okay. So you and 59% of players did not shoot her. Did you shoot the girl in the street? Oh, we're talking about the girl in the beginning. Did you abandon Lily? You and 57% of players did not leave her. Okay. So the majority, I mean, it's like kind of half and half. Oh, I almost left her behind and I'm still wondering if I should have. As the days go on, I'm thinking more and more about my choices, especially going back and editing. And I'm like, oh, should I have done something different? Uh, standoff, did you fight Kenny? You and 44% of players talked him down. Nice. Uh, you and 79% of players shot Duck. Oh my god. And you and 44% of players did not help Omid. I know, I'm sorry, I should have helped Omid. I was freaking out because I was like, oh no, what if I don't have enough time to save either? And my mouse was messing up and just kept like holding itself on Chris Krista? Krista. So I was like, okay, guess I can save one of them. Ugh, God. <sighs> that was really good. That was really, really good. This game in general, just like, I don't know what it is about it. I know that this is like a beloved game series by everyone, including myself, which is weird because I was like, man, guys, <laughs> you don't know how much I love this game. And then I just literally forgot everything that's ever happened. Um, but I think I was just remembering the feeling of what it felt like to play it. And it's still the same, still just like super attached to the plot and the story. And of course, Clem and Lee and everything like that. So yeah, I love their way of building complex characters and everyone having multiple layers, everyone handling the situation differently and things like that, so yeah. It's getting difficult though, it's getting sad. Also, I just think that the voice acting is, like, incredible. Like, everyone has a really good voice, and also, like, I don't know, I don't know if you guys can hear it on your video, and I don't know if it's my headset specifically or something like that, but, like, the mic quality is really good. Like, it's just very soft, nothing abrasive. Um, I'm hoping to be able to upgrade uh, my mic at some point to be a little bit less, I guess, aggressive when my voice gets louder, uh, just so that it's not so you know, t intense on the ears. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I enjoyed this. <laughs> I always do. I always do enjoy it. But yeah, uh, despite it getting sad, this I just love getting into the story. And I'm just like such a huge uh, story game girl. It's weird. I started off my channel doing Minecraft and over time like doing kind of like similar like open-ended kind of games. And then I did the Summerland series that I have up on my channel actually. And I just realized that I love doing stories and like playing them for you guys and like actually having them on recording because now I can go back and watch the game that I played for the first time if I wanted to see it all over again. Uh, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.